Welcome to my quick introduction to Stockfish 13 and Fritz 17 and the previous version of Stockfish. As you can see here, the developers of Stockfish have released a new version in February. You can go on this website over here to download the binary. And here they explain that the release is much stronger and the latest version is 35 rating points higher than Stockfish 12, which I had before. So I wanted to play the two engines on my own setup. Now, before I go there, this is a website where you can have the ratings of all engines. Stockfish is number one. You have the list here and they run a lot of games over, over here. Very important, Stockfish is open source and free to download. So now I'm gonna switch to Fritz 17 and here I'm gonna just say, go quickly about how to set it up. So you create an engine, you put your binary that you downloaded somewhere on your drive, you define the name, you can change parameters, you click OK, I've set it up. So I don't need to do that. Once you have that, you could change and toggle and let's say before I had Stockfish 12 as my default engine and that was the one I was using, you can see at the bottom here. And then I'm switching and my default will, will go here. Now, of course, you can add a kibitzer, which means having the two engines together on the same position. So you go here, you're gonna see at the same time Stockfish 12 and Stockfish 13, and you can have as many lines as you want. Now, what's interesting here, I wanted to play them in a match to see how they perform against each other. Before hitting engine match, I wanted to create a set of opening position that we play against. So how do I do that? So I went to database and I selected four position. So let's go here. The first one was a Spanish and I wanted them to start with that position. Softish 13 we play with white against Softish 12, then they reverse the colors and we're going like that. Next position, I selected the London system position over here. Next one, English opening. And last position I selected a Sicilian, Sicilian can after Queen C7. Now, if you want to do that on your own, you're welcome to use any opening you want to use. Let's say you like the King's Indian. You could as well play the moves. And when you want to stop, let's say over here, let's say I play one more move. You want to save this position. You could do so where this position is saved. So here I would call it King's Indian and I'm just set. If I go back to the database now, I will have five positions selected. I found that very useful. So now going back here, then to run the match itself, I went to engine and engine match. So here what I did is I selected a new file. Let's call it new file. And here I define what I want. So I want to play maybe a five minute plus two second increment match. White will be Stockfish 13. Black would be Stockfish 12. The time would be five minutes plus two seconds. Database. So here I select the database with the five position that I have. Use means that the system will use that position. Alternate colors, the reverse colors to play the match. Output, and I am ready to go. I hit OK, and now the match starts. So start from the first position, which was an Italian position. I select in the database, and you have Stockfish 13, which is white, and Stockfish 12 is black. So they're playing here, and right now, Stockfish 13 is looking at castle. Another position, uh, interesting move would be bishop g5. So it'll be interesting to see which one is selected. Right now, castle is the main move. It's a five minute blitz game. So Stockfish 13 is switching to bishop g5. So I played that match earlier and bishop g5 was played in the game. And then Stockfish will start to think about its own move. So bishop g5 was played and here h6 is the favorite move by Stockfish 12 and is also what Stockfish 13 is looking at. You can look at the EVAR. The EVAR is different, but the main move is the same. Now, very important, you can see that the depth is higher with the new version than the older version. It definitely runs quicker on my machine. 
So I let the match happen like that and I played uh, four position, eight games in total with reverse colors. Let's see to the result of that match. I am here in the database which was Stockfish 12 versus 13. They play eight games and the match was a win for Stockfish 13, winning game seven and they drew, they drew sorry, the seven of the game. That would result on my machine into a four minutes plus two second increment match by 44 points, uh, rating points higher for the latest version. While on the release, they were talking about 35 points, so it's close enough. Now let's look at the only game which was a victory for Stockfish 13. Let's look at the main win. Here's a game where Stockfish 13 won. So as you can see here already, in this position, Stockfish 13 thinks that white is much better. You can see already that the engine prefers white. So maybe I should have selected something earlier, like this position instead, where the advantage is not as high. So that's something to keep in mind. However, if I were to go to the next game, Starfish 12 was white. If I were to turn on Stockfish 12 in this position, you can see that Stockfish 12 also prefers white. So clearly this position was better for white according to both engines. However, when Stockfish was white, it did not manage to win and the game resulted in a draw in this very interesting position where the main line would go like this. I'm following the main line if I continued. Pretty incredible. In this position, you can see by both engines is absolutely equal, even the white as an extra pawn. This root ending is drawn and they evaluate this position the same. So when Stockfish 12 was white, that was a draw. But if I were to go back to the previous game, Stockfish 13 managed to win that game. And this is a wrap up of how to use Stockfish and compare the versions in Fritz 17. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.